your points. All right, we're going to begin treating the uh, infraspinatus. It's called the shoulder joint pain muscle because it is the major one. Again, in the middle of the shoulder blade, you'll find a band. You'll come against that and do you have that? Radiation. Now, we maybe want to use a shorter digit. That seems a little long on her, a little slightly angled. You can see how there she can relax into that. Now, one thing you can do with the shoulder joint, or any joint, is actually do a stroking through. By moving her arm, she's moving the digit through the muscle fibers and stroking through them. But a plain, straight uh, trigger point therapy by just resting, finding the point, holding it for 60 seconds to a minute, I mean to a minute and a half, and allowing that trigger point to melt away. Again, she can control how much pressure she does by how hard she rolls onto it. Do not cause yourself undue pain. Just find the point and get it to release within 60 to 90 seconds. Once we've done the infraspinatus, we can do uh, the teres minor and major, which is out along the lateral edge of the shoulder blade. These are big muscles. You can do a little longer digit. And by moving your arm around, she can find it. Now remember, once you find the active trigger point, you want to move a little bit off it after you've deactivated that to go after any latent trigger points in the area. Especially along that uh, infraspinatus, there can be trigger points up and down the length of that band. So 60 to 90 seconds in the middle of the shoulder blade, off in the edge. Again, many, many problems with mid-back pain comes right off the shoulder blade into the rhomboid. And so she can slide over onto a shorter digit. Well, that is a very chronic problem for many people, that shoulder ba blade pain. And you can just um, find that. You got the trigger point there? OK. Again, let that uh, sit for 60 to 90 seconds until it starts to melt away. All right, so after searching out, again, remember, you'll easily push reach back and push and find an active trigger point, but search out around. These are nested, and you can find many that still stimulate the pain, but you weren't aware of because they weren't spontaneously creating pain. And then again, teres major and minor. You can also surely go out into the, uh, the deltoid and underneath that some of the tendons that affect the shoulder by moving out into that region and finding trigger points out here or further out into the deltoid by just moving around until you get the posterior deltoid that is causing the pain. You can turn around and go face down and do the um, forward anti anterior deltoid, and we'll show you that in a minute. Now, using a, a shorter digit, you can come in here and go after right along the spinuses, again, of the mid-back, and search out for trigger points. There she has one right there. And so the shoulder and the mid-back tend to go together. 